What is up, YouTube? Um, Raphael, back again with another tutorial. This is um part two of the fruit catcher development series that we that I was um that I started. So um, let's get right on to develop to coding right now. So in the previous part, we set up the header files and implementation files for our second view controller, where we will be pretty much doing most of the coding for the rest of the series. Um, we have made the start game button to um, take us straight into the second view and um, and we have um, added a custom font and um, a sound effects so let's get um, right on with this video so over here first things first we're gonna go to our game code.h and underneath our app interface we're gonna do um, bracket and drop some lines here, we are gonna um, add UI labels. We're gonna declare them right after we set them up in here first. So simply scroll down here in um, in in the bottom right hand corner, drag in a label. I'm gonna resize it to here. This will be center, and I will um, make it say. Um, Hit, sorry, catch as many fruits as you can without losing all ten lives. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna um increase the number of lines because this my custom font is fairly huge. So I'm gonna go sorry, I'm gonna go to our T font custom family will be jelly crazies. And I'm gonna put since my font is giant, so I'm gonna resize that. There we go. And I might um so not none of my the colors here blend in, so I'm gonna go other and I'm gonna find the best the best one. So maybe uh white will well here we go. So this one seems well good enough. We'll also drag in another sorry, we'll copy and command C with command V, copy and paste, save up some time, and this will say Lives left ten. I'm sorry, let me make that a colon instead. So we're gonna um size just change the size oops and drag it over here. We're gonna um do we're gonna make we're gonna make make sure it is centered and this and the size is eleven just so just cause it's just cause um it, it can be visible, but it doesn't have to fill up the entire screen. So copy and paste again. And this will be our score. So this will say zero. Because um, so far, so far it will it'll start at zero. But when we catch fruits, it will go, it will count up one, two, three, or four, or five, or, and so on. Now, this is when I'm introducing our, uh, I'll introduce the sound files that we have, our mp3 files. Now I found these sound effects by simply going to YouTube down and converting it by an online MP3 converter I found on the internet. So this one here. So I, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, this is how it sounds like. So it will sound like this at fr when um every time you catch a fruit, that is what it will sound. Whenever you lose a life, this okay. Actually, sorry. Let me get. Let me be clear again. When the lives left, when it hits zero, this is what it will sound like. So, this. This is the sound effect when it is game over. So, that is that, what I mean by that is when this lives left goes to hit zero, that is game over. And then, that, this, will, this sound effect will play to jump scare the player. Okay, because I'm cheeky like that. Alright, so... We're gonna drag in another image view, and this will cover the bottom of the screen. Like this is what I mean. And now it will be the missile, the PNG. It'll be this pale. It'll be this green, um, bland green, um, rectangle thingy. So underneath our attributes inspector, simply go image and type in missile, the PNG, or whatever you named your um your um, image and I'm gonna drag in another image view 
and we're gonna do basket of PNG. Oopsie daisies. Alright. Like that. So now so now the fact that now now that we have our basket set up, all we have to do is um simply code it so that when we um tap when we tap this when we tap the screen this basket will we can move the basket left or right. So that we are now that we ha now once we have everything set up we are good to go. So over here, just underneath our add interface, we're gonna do IV outlet, space UI label, space asterisk, and we're gonna do scoring, and then IV outlet UI labels, asterisk li lives left, IV outlet UI label, then goal, UI image view for the um, image for the basket, UI image view, asterisk ground. Alright, so what these three are. Scoring is um the score is the score which one is this label here. So what we're gonna do is tap the top of the screen to make sure it is blue. Go to your connection inspector and um drag the basket image to our basket. Goal will be to uh, go which is just catch as many fruits as you can. Ground to the ground. To this 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 green image over here. Lives left will be to the top right label. Scoring will be to the top left. So now, now pretty much our game now knows that these four labels and these two image pretty much exist. So it's pretty much aware of its existence, and we can um code whatever we, we can code whatever we want them to do in our implementation file. So um let's so now let's go to our dot m underneath our view did load. So this view did load sorry let me view did load method we are gonna um space it out and now we're gonna um make sh now for when we first um when when this when the game first loads up we want to make sure these two are hidden at first these ba this basket will be showing and this will be showing as well but these two will be hidden so we're gonna do scoring which is the zero dot hidden equals yes lives left dot hidden equals yes basket dot hidden e equals no ground sorry about that let me um ground dot hidden equals no and goal dot hidden equals no because we want the goal to show and our basket to show, but we want the top two to be hidden at first. So for now we're gonna so now next we're gonna do Python open bracket void close bracket touches began. Now it'll go NS asset space UI touch asterisk greater than sign asterisk touches with event UI events asterisk close bracket event Sorry, it's quite long. Um, bracket. And here we go. So, the touches begin is whenever, when, that, this is pretty much the code for when we tap on the screen. So, we're gonna, um, we're gonna declare boo a boolean space start int basket move. So the basket move is uh will be will go in handy for when we code um the basket to move left and right later on. We're gonna do dash open bracket void close bracket basket method. So this is a um this is a um method that we can um that we will be pay copy and pasting on our implementation file. So on our touches begin, we are gonna say if this boolean equals equals yes, then run whatever code is in between. So for now, we're gonna do start to yes. In our touches begin, <coughs> we're gonna do if space. This is an if statement. Space if start equals equals yes. Close bracket. Remove the statements down here. We're gonna copy this with command C. Under here, paste with command V. 
Scoring that hidden will be finally set to no. Basket will be not hidden. Goal will, will definitely be hidden because our game has loaded up. And um, it will, now we're gonna do start set to no. So now, once we play our game, so I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna load it up on our simulator so I can demonstrate how it is. There you go. So now, so our catcher. So now, orig originally. Now these two over here were originally hidden. Oh, sorry, were originally showing, but now it is hidden in our actual simulators. So once I click this. Now these will show up right after, and then we'll be coding in this basket. We'll, we'll move left or right, depending on what you tap on which area you tap on. So yeah, thank you for watching. So that is that is what will be that will be all be saved for the next um video. And be sure to hit like and subscribe, and um be sure to stay tuned as you as I said last time. So um so what we're what we'll be doing next is um making the fruits fall down and then um making the baskets move move around then maybe in part 4 we'll we'll code the high score and the game over so yeah as i said again thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys later on